Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through how to start a successful math YouTube channel in 2021. Let's get started. So the first thing to mention here is the benefits of actually starting up a math YouTube channel or an educational YouTube channel in general. So I've got my three benefits listed over, not over here, but over here, and I'm just going to go through those one at a time. So the first thing is I get to meet so many different people. So through the videos that I do, and I focus on IGCSE 0607, it's an international mathematics IGCSE, and we have many people from India, from Pakistan, from Malaysia, from the UK, from the United States actually studying that particular course. And it's really great to engage with the students who need this qualification to get on to CBSE, to the IB, to A-levels. And it's really good to see their journey as they go through and all the uh, thanks I receive as well. Of course, you get the odd hater as well, but overwhelmingly, I would say on my YouTube channel, I get lots of people saying, thank you for the material that you've done. Could you maybe make another video on a paper two or a paper four, or a paper six? And I'm more than happy to oblige as well. So I think that's the first main benefit that I get to meet a really diverse community of people and uh, really get to engage with them. And number two is something a bit more personal for me. I get to keep my maths up to date. So my mathematics background is mainly in calculus, trigonometry, essentially pure and applied mathematics. So I hardly did any statistics at all in university. And I've been teaching now the IB high level AI course. Uh, it's uh, come out two years ago. And there's a lot of statistics involved in it. Um, if any of you are used to the A-level course, it's sort of S1, S2, and S3, the hypothesis testing, binomial distribution, and so on. And I've really had to upskill myself to make sure I can, first of all, understand the content, but also teach it clearly to yourselves as well. And there's nothing better than having to record a video with, you know, in some cases, 1,000, 2,000 people watching your video and making a mistake. So it really does keep you on your toes mathematically, and it's great fun to do. I really improve my maths by teaching you. And this is uh, something we encourage in the IB, of course, amongst others, that the best way of learning something is can you teach it to someone else clearly? And number three is also another more personal uh, point where the feedback that you get from people in the comments or just by talking to people as well uh, to improve yourself as well. So, for example, if they don't like a particular way you present something or the way you show something, then YouTube's pretty brutal like this. Um, they'll certainly uh, make, make it known, and that's something that you can improve on as an individual. So I'm using YouTube, actually, for myself as a way of improving my professional development and making myself a better maths teacher year in, year out. Okay, and now for my three tips to make a YouTube channel in 2021 and really make a good educational or math YouTube channel. Number one is find something current and find something very specific mathematically. Now, one of the worst mistakes you can make as a math YouTuber, at least starting out, is making a tutorial video on vectors or tutorial video on solving equations. <laughs> I've done this. I'll show you that uh, if you look up there, uh, one of those videos, which hasn't done so well. What you need to do is find something current. So maybe a course that's come out in the last couple of years that's changed quite considerably and become an authority or an expert on that particular topic. Okay, so for example, for me, the IGCSE 0607 course is only increased in popularity in the last sort of few years or so. I've been teaching this IBHL applications course for the last two years, and that's also something very new and what people are looking for. So that's something you can hurt, certainly help people to do and actually work on. It's by finding one of these new courses out there or a new updated version of an existing course and provide content on that. And that's been one of my recipes for success, uh, particularly making these long kind of tutorial videos, because if the person watches it, they're often going to watch it all the way through because they need it for their IGCSE, IB, A-level or anything else. So that's a really important way and a really effective way of making your YouTube channel, your math YouTube channel stand out. And number two is to be visible. So 
the better videos, as you can see from Black Red Red uh, Black Pen Red Pen, from Dr. Wessel Couch, many, plenty of YouTubers out there. One thing they do have in common is that they are ever present in their videos. So it's not just a voice in the background of the video, but you actually get to see the person, you get to engage with them as well, and yeah, have a little bit of a joke and a bit of fun with them as well. And uh, we've all got our own different personalities. And um, one of the great things of YouTube is we can get the personalities across to you as well. It's uh, really fun to have a joke and do some math memes math jokes and things like that and that's one of the benefits with YouTube you really get that sort of personal connection as well so yeah number two is make sure you are visible okay and number three is make sure you're available on majority or all of the social media platforms as well so YouTube is not just YouTube itself you've also got Facebook you've also got Instagram you've also got LinkedIn there's lots of different other social media vehicles out there and you really need to have a presence out there are all these different parts as well. I forgot Twitter as well. I should probably remember Twitter. Um, and it's a good way of expanding, yes, your audience to a different group of people. So, for example, um, on Twitter, there's a lot of educational uh, Twitter people out there and so want to improve their own CPD, their own professional development. So that's where you can aim some of your content in that direction. Whereas Instagram is more for younger people, so they're more likely to access that if you post on there regularly as well. So YouTube is not um, you just YouTube. You need to think about the overall picture as well. That's really important. So hopefully you found that useful, my three main benefits for starting a math YouTube channel in 2021 and also my three main tips. I mean, that number one tip is the most crucial. Find that, that niche, finding that, that, that topic that you're a real expert in that hasn't really been done before, something usually up to date and current, and then going with it. So if I was to give some examples of this, um, this is something I'm not going to do on my YouTube channel, but White Rose Maths in the UK is now very popular in the next couple of years. So that could be something to do research on as well. And have a look for some of these maths resource uh, websites out there as well. You'll see um, above me, I did one on Go Teach Maths which was very interesting, and that's certainly something to consider as you hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, have success with your own math YouTube channel. Um, please do subscribe. I'm going to make a video next on the year six to year seven maths transition. So if you don't want to miss out on that, then please do press the subscribe button. All right. Bye-bye for now.